the Sister Speak Show, where contemporary meets vision, sound, and action. A talk show for great minds that create, inspire, and evolve. Sister, spiritual inspiration shared through the arts. Sister, spiritual inspiration shared through Ayana. When can you listen to the Sister Speak Show? At 7 p.m. Central. Tune in on the go or at your residence show. Spreaker YouTube, Alexa, or SoundCloud. Interviewing special guests that have been blessed and will bless us. For spoken word and awareness, knowledge is wealth if you gain it. Share this in the streets, in the burbs, anywhere that we can be heard. It's about that time to elevate your mind. Feel the beat, sister speak, come and eat a spiritual treat. It's about that time to stimulate your mind. Feel the beat, sister speak, come and eat a spiritual treat. Welcome, my brothers and my sisters, to the platform on the Sister Speak Show. I am the host, creator, and producer of the Sister Speak Show, Ayana. Not only that, Kingdom Child Recordings is executive producer of the Sister Speak Show. Brothers and sisters, how y'all doing this evening? Oh, you know, we do have a special treat for you this evening. I know you know that by now with the Sister Speak Show. So welcome to all of my first-time listeners and welcome back to all of my regular listeners. Brothers and sisters, we are a syndicated podcast on Amazon Alexa. That's right. So that means that we are reaching you internationally. So to, so to all of my international listeners, hello. And how are you? Brothers and sisters who are now listening for the first time to the Sister Speak Show, let me explain to you just a little bit about what we have going on here and why we need to be the flavor in your ear and a part of your podcast listening shuffle. Because we are a six-segment podcast that has special guest interviews, live performances, in-studio interviews, and live on-location reports. The special guests who will be on the Sister Speak Show are dynamic. And they are impacting the communities with their passions. The Sister Speak Show is a talk show that will keep your mind and your soul informed, energized, and encouraged. Yes, we are a cultural renaissance platform that influences a climate that is conducive to who you are and who you should be. No reckless entertainment, just responsible listening nourishment. We don't go dumb We go wisdom on the Sister Speak show. And this is about making them known, known, my brothers and sisters. So, yes, we have a very special guest, my brothers and sisters, this evening. I'm so grateful for all of my special guests because they are phenomenal. So, we'll be right back after this commercial break. And then you'll know who we have coming on. Stay tuned and stay locked in. I'm so excited to talk with you. And we are recording live from Dallas, Texas. Let's get it. Let's go. On on the Sister Speak show at 7 p.m. Central Standard Time from Dallas, Texas. My special guest, Mayhem Streetwear owner and designer, Jermichael Breckenridge. Brothers and sisters, we are going to vibe out and discuss his passions, his talents, his gifts, and his purpose for creating dope designs for the fashion industry. Be on the lookout for Jamaica Breckenridge on the platform on the Sister Speak Show, where contemporary meets vision, sound, and action, a talk show for great minds that create, inspire, and evolve. This is Ayana, the host of the Sister Speak Show. It was a privilege and an honor on the tour, October 29, 2017, to interview this dope, amazingly talented, down-to-earth brother, Blau, one-fourth member of the group formerly called The Boys, now the Sons of Light. This was a groundbreaking interview for the Sister Speak Show because these brothers are a part of music history and continue to make music. That's a part of music history. Show your support to Blau, Hakeem, Taj, and Kyrie by watching February 25th, this Sunday, Unsung The Boys. Had us going crazy. Welcome back, my brothers and my sisters, to the Sister Speak Show. And you are listening live to the platform on the Sister Speak Show. My brothers and sisters, you heard it right. My very special guest this evening is owner, designer of Mayhem Streetwear, Jamichael, excuse me, Jamichael Breckenridge, my brothers and sisters. That is a name that is prosperous. I'm telling you, you hear that, you know this brother has it going on. And I cannot wait to vibe with him. So Dallas, thank you for your support. Everybody who is listening live to support this brother, thank you. And shout out to you. And I hope your days are just going wonderfully. You know what I'm saying? Because on the Sister Speaks show, let me just break it down to you. The platform is about 
entrepreneurs, creative artists, community advocates, okay, influencers. It's about creative artists. It's about authors. It's about bringing out those who have a brand and providing a platform. And so on the platform, (laughs) my brothers and sisters, that's what we do. We are so dedicated towards highlighting my brothers and sisters. That, I mean, that's what it's about. Locally, nationally, and internationally. If you have it going on, if you are on and popping, I want you to be a part of this syndicated podcast. I'm not a hater. I'm all about my brothers and sisters, and I am here for you. Because I know that it takes a village. And I know that God is not a midget. So I don't need to worry about somebody else getting on before I do. My time is my time. And your time is your time. And and, and how reckless would it be of me to have a platform, been given a gift to speak, and not say, hey, you, come through. I could just sit here and talk all day long and not ever have a special guest. But how popping would my podcast be? Oh, it would be cool. But it's that connection with other people that just makes it great. And so I'm so, I I love my special guests. They are phenomenal and they are Sister Speak Show family forever. You understand? So that means that you will hear them on here again. That's just what it is because they are on the move. They're on the go. They have brands. And if they want to stop by here for 15 minutes and say, hey, shout out. Look, this is what I have going on. They will be stopping by because that's family. So shout out to all of my special guests who have been on the Sister Speak Show since August 6th of 2017, my brothers and sisters. August 6th of 2018 will be one year that this podcast has been in full effect. And I thank the Most High God and His Son, the Christ, for this opportunity. Brothers and sisters, we had a brother on last night, Varus Bell, a designer, as well as the owner, co-owner, or owner, and he also has a, you know, a co-owner of culture worldwide and tonight we have mayhem streetwear you know look check this out this this brother jamichael is on the go and he is on the grind i don't want to spoil anything i can't wait for him to call in so we can just talk about his grind because it's real serious and i'm all for my brothers and sisters you know just out there doing what they do you know what i said tonight i said i'm gonna do something just a little different because you can catch the tour, the laugh line, you can catch the culture climate, the search effort coming to the stage and the platform on the Sister Speak show. And so, you know, on the tour is where we cover every aspect of the music industry. But I said, you know what? I feel like grooving tonight. I'm going to throw it back. Some of y'all may have heard this song and some of y'all may have not. But I know you guys have heard of these two artists. And if you haven't, you need to. And now you will. Yo-Yo and Gerald LeVert. This is Yo-Yo featuring Gerald LeVert. Is it still good? Let's go. Shout out to the West Coast. Let's go. I said the eyes are green. I used to rock braids and tight jeans. Coming through with cube, head up in the guillotine. I feel they wanted me to fall. Play it when you don't sell joints. Your A and R never call. I disappear from the scene till my seed drop. Laying in the cut, baby daddy on the G spot. Cut them off because it wasn't what I thought it was. Gotta call them on the phone and tell them what his daughter does. Pop died, he got shot in the car. Never thought that he'd pop and take it this far. Big died the day after Soul Train night. Left. Afraid to me, throw the most shade. No winners, the opposite of peace. Cause the West and the East both felt a lot of grief. Peace to little Kim, the brat, and Fox B. Folk master flex, queen pin like Missy. I came back like you thought I would, but we lost two of the best in the game. So what's good? And if you don't know, now you know. Now you know. Sipping Chris, 
sitting on the sideline watching all of this. I can go for days listening to Cool J on the East Coast. These new phrases, John plays. I gaze at videos at the upcoming pro. Miss doing the shows, miss the cameos. It goes one time for your mind, one time. It sound clever, doing whatever and however. Coming down the strip, reclining the whip, bumping the hot shit. Not worried about a clip. Everybody was icy, from L L to Ice T, and y'all got along with me. But now you kinda got me unsure. You gotta look both ways, cause it ain't the same door. Whether you know it or not, the world is small. But yo got love for y'all. Check it out. Brothers and sisters, that was Yo-Yo featuring Gerald Levert. Is it still all good? I know that was a throwback. You know what I'm saying? That's just what it's about on the Sister Speak show. You know, I'm all for a great time and a great vibe. So since you all are tuning in live to the Sister Speak show this evening, and shout out to everybody who was supporting my brother Jamaica Breckenridge this evening. Shout out to AJ Snow. You know, and all the other people who support my brother. Shout out to Jabari, Aviated Visuals, and everybody else who's tuning in. Check this out. Support is a vital ingredient in this journey. And that is one of the services that this talk show provides. What does your support consist of when it comes to your people and the launching of their new business or art, plays, boutiques, performing? Are you just sitting back waiting for them to make it, pop, bubble, arrive? Why is it so easy to support and eventually idolize celebrated people who do not know you? Mm. The equilibrium is off on that. The balance is off on that. This is how you get cut off, removed, denied, deleted, dismissed, forgotten, blocked. Listen, I read a post that says the reason you cannot publicly support someone is because you have talked about them privately. May our tongues be rebuked and purged from the unrighteousness and slander that flows from our lips and the hate that flows from our minds. And may we be delivered from being two-faced, backbiters, ditch diggers, and jealous. Then our tongues can overflow with peace and and blessings. And then we can give a clear yes and a clear no. Oh, yes, my brothers and sisters, it goes up just like that because anything going down is crashing. So understand this. When you support somebody, you're sowing a seed for something that may you may need support for later on. If you are hating, I can't even I can't even understand why. What's your purpose? What's your passion? What's your talents? What's your gifts? I'm talking to you, my brother and sister right now who's sitting around not activated. What do you do that is so great that can contribute to the village? I need you to do it. I, you are missing a part. You're a missing part of the puzzle. We need you, sister. We need you, brother. We need you to be able to understand that you do matter. You are a king. You are a queen. You don't need to act like a peasant. And you don't need to have a peasant's passion. You need to have a king's passion, a queen's passion. Understand that. Don't walk around like you're a nigga. Oh, some of y'all don't want to hear that because some of you all identify with being a nigga well. Okay? I'm talking to you, but how much better is it to be a king than a nigga? How much better is it to be a queen than a nigga? Brothers and sisters. All right, calling in live, my brothers and sisters, to the Sister Speak Show is my special guest. Jamichael Breckenridge, let's give him a round of applause. My brother, how are you doing? 
I am doing good. Thank you for being a, a very special guest on the platform this evening. Oh, yes. Now, brothers and sisters, I told you we had a special treat this evening, and he is live on the phone. So I want you all to listen closely because we're about to vibe out, and, and, and you're going to catch some wisdom. So let's get it. Let's go. First of all, your name is Prosperous. You know that, right? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah I've, I've, been, I've been told that a couple times. It's funny because uh, I'm messing I'm up I'm I'm with my grandfather. His name is Michael. So my mom, she just took the job for a how they came about. Yeah. Well, I'm just telling you, it, it, it's it's a beautiful name and it's very prosperous. Go ahead. So go ahead. Keep talking to me. Tell everybody, you know, who is Jamichael Breckenridge? Jamichael Breckenridge is uh, from uh, Fort Worth, Texas, based on Newport Hills, Texas. Um, grew up there my whole life. You know, that's, that's pretty much it. I mean, it's, 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 so much, it's, so much, it's so much I can tell you. You use that to ask me, you know. Yeah, I understand, but okay, so let's just, we, we, we about to get it, I just wanted them to know where you coming from, and then we, I'm going to go ahead and, you know, I'm going to pull out all the elements that I need to pull out. So, Jamaica, when did you know that you had a passion for fashion? Uh, you know, I, I say, uh, I, I developed I, pretty much my whole life, really, you know what I'm saying, I've, I've always been real hip to, like, you know, the urban fashion, the urban, you know, so, but I've always been real hip to it growing up, you know, I, I, just, I can go back as far as being a kid. You know, from FUBU to Sean John, you know, Fat Farm, Rockwell, all that good stuff. And, you know, Tom and all, you know, uh, streetwear really kind of started, you know, developing, you know, kind of, you know, kind of how, excuse me, kind of how it is now. And that's, that was really where I came about. So I've been reading streetwear for a while now. After, excuse me, um, after, like, once, once I got past the urban fast, I got, I got, I got, excuse me, I got, I got, I got more into, like, the, uh, like the, like the skateboard type of fast, and stuff like that, you know. Mm-hmm. And then, and then over time, you know, streetwear, you started, you started evolving. It started coming out as well. Yeah, and, and and that's a beautiful thing when you have an eye for fashion as well as streetwear because it just kind of sets you apart. You know, brothers and sisters, I got to tell you that I went to an event put on by Hear Ye Podcast. Shout out to those sisters because they are definitely grinding. Check out their podcast because I am not a hater. I support everybody. So check out these sisters because they're really throwing events out here and, and bringing people together. So I attended their event, Bones and Bubbly, and that's how I met. This brother right here, he had his his entire vending table set up, screen with the name, you know, had his his clothes laid out. Very, very nice to talk to. Very respectful, very professional, you know, and then I, I ended up meeting AJ Snow. I mean, it was just a beautiful night that night to just meet all of you all. It was really it was a dynamic. And so, you know, of course. I want this brother to come on the show. He's popping. And so that's how we met, brothers and sisters, through a function that my sister queens put on. That, you know, the ones who were predestined to come out that night came out. And now we're all vibing out. And it's a beautiful thing. And so when I saw his clothing, well, actually, my husband had walked over to you. And, you know, y'all started vibing out. And then, you know, I looked at the clothing. I was like, okay, this is dope. And my husband supported and bought a nice, you know, cap from you, a nice beanie from you that he's still, it, it, he's been rocking it, by the way. I just want you to know that. He's, he's out the other. 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 Oh, yeah, he supports you. He likes what you got going on. So definitely with that. Oh, of course. So, you know, we, we, I, I saw this brother and I just want you all to know this, you know, to see a my brothers, you know, out there by faith, by passion, with boldness, coming to events, saying, look at what I got going on. You got to applaud that. You got to support that. And that's what it's about. So I just want to take that time out to say, brother, you got it going on. And you keep doing what you're doing. You hear me? <laughs> no, I appreciate that. Y'all don't really feel that. It's a good for real, for real. Oh, I appreciate you. <laughs> so let's talk about the first streetwear that you designed because there are people who are listening who will want to get into it, you know, and everybody's journey and perspective and how they go about doing things is different. So, what was that process like for you? Uh, you know, as the process, it was pretty simple. Like, you know, just, you know, just, I'm telling you what's so funny. Like, I would go, I would, like, go to malls and go to stores and whatnot. And it would be, and I would, you know, I would, I would kind of know what I want. So, man, they don't really got what I want. So, like, what, so I was like, what, what if I just, you know, do my own kind of design? Like, what, what if I kind of get my own little thing? Hmm. That white shirt, uh, the white shirt, you probably 
like man, it's got bruises on the, on the left chest. That's actually my first ever design. Wow. And so, um, and then like it all just came, it all, it all just, it all started coming together. And then just when I, when I started making now, when I just, I couldn't stop. I just, y'all, you know, I couldn't, <laughs> I just kept going crazy with the design. I just kept going on and on and on and on. I just, I, just, I went crazy. And I was yeah. like. I got, I got to get this. I got, I got to talk about this. I couldn't, just, I couldn't. You know, it's like you know, my mom always say, you know, can't let a good, you can't, you can't sit on a good idea. So, mm-hmm. you know, that, that was one thing I really, that was, that was what really got me. That was what really got me. That's how I really developed my passion for. You know, just I was just, I just couldn't stop designing. I just, I'll be, I'll, I'm saying something. I'll be at work, mm-hmm. and then, um, and I would, I'll be just, I'll be at work with them, and I'll be just, uh, like, I'll just come up with an idea on my phone. Uh, I'll, I'll come up with an idea while I'm working. So I'll bring my laptop to work, you know. So I said, okay. So, so as soon as I get on break, I'm about to go. I'm gonna make this right now. And then so I said, I said, I said, I said, uh, call, my, call my friends, you know. And they, and I, I tell them what they think about it, and they give me the honest opinion. If they like it, they like it. They don't, they don't. And that's that's one thing I really need. Mm-hmm. Really, everybody needs the honesty. You, know? so you can't, yes. you can't keep yes man. So you can't, you can't just be so quick to agree anything. So yeah. you know what I'm saying? It, that's really how it all. That's all, all came. That's all came about. Just, just. I just truly love. I, I love design. I love streetwear culture. That was how the whole. That was how the whole thing came about. Yeah, and you know what? I love it because. See, you can't get into fashion and you can't sometimes get into what your passion is unless you go through an orchestrated circumstance that then makes you say, you know what, I'm going to make my own clothes because I just don't see my flyness in the stores and I'm too fly and I, (laughs) and, 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 but look though, if you, if, if, if you would have seen something you like, we may not be talking right now. But you said, mm-mm, my flyness ain't nowhere on these racks. I got to create my own flyness. Exactly what happened. That's exactly what happened. This is exactly what happened. This is crazy. Like, I got tired of going to the ball, and it was like, I would be looking around like, ain't nothing I like, and nothing I really want. And mm-hmm. so, I said, you know what, I'm going to just start making my own stuff, you know, so... And and look what you're doing because I'm telling you all, brothers and sisters, that you will be able to go to his page because we'll get to that further in the interview, how you can check everything out. But there is this light blue sweatshirt with the leopard. Is that a leopard or it's a, yeah, it's a, it's a, uh, it's a long sleeve, uh, Jaguar. It's a long Jaguar. Jag- it's a Jag- Ooh, it's a clean. So fresh, <laughs> look, so fresh and so clean, clean, clean for real though. <laughs> like I want yeah. that, I want that one. And I, I'm, I'm, I'm not playing about that one is going to be in my closet because it's super fly dope. Super I'm fly dope. Thank you, cause I, I I wear a um. Well, I don't know how your your sizes go, but we'll talk about that. You will talk about that in the direct messages. But any, <laughs> but um. Anyway, you know. So when I was looking at your designs and everything, I was like, okay, this brother's standing out, and and he's going to attract others who have a like minded flyness. You know what I'm saying? And so you know, I saw you at an event. At Kicklahoma, and I had never even known that Kicklahoma even existed. So shout out to you for even posting that for me to even know. So explain to everybody about that event and what does it take to be a vendor and to show up at these events. Right, uh, well, first and foremost, it takes it takes it takes bonus. You gotta you know you gotta and it takes risk too. You know you gotta kind of step out your comfort zone and say, oh, you know the thing the thing with vendors is like you gotta pay the little fee. Mm-hmm. I think I think that's I, that that could be that could be a uh, it could be a problem with some people like about about getting their brand things and they don't they want they, they don't have to pay a vendor fee. I could be wrong. Yeah. But you know that's that, that's the thing. So like you know first and foremost you gotta you gotta realize you know everything's a business. Everybody everybody gotta make the money. Mm-hmm. They, you know things, people have you know. You know, people gotta make the money. So, like, first thing you gotta do is say, okay, you know what? I need to get this brand out there, so I need to pay this little vendor fee. And that's how you do that. And so, um, but it, it don't take a lot, you know what I'm saying? But, but one thing I will say, too, is, uh, you know, you know, besides paying the vendor fee, so like that, you know, you gotta interact with the people. Because it's, it's, it's times where I've been in events where uh, I would see people just not interact. I would see people just, I would see people stop by the booth or stop by the table, and they just, and they just, and like in the, in the vendor, they just sit on their phone. They just kind of, they just looking around. They just kind of sitting on their phone. You know, I was like, you know, that was, that was one thing. That's what you definitely got to do is, you know, just, you know, engage, engage with the consumer that's coming up to the table. Mm-hmm. You know, engage with them 
and talk to them, you know, show them around that type of stuff. That's one thing you definitely take. It takes, it takes um, you know, things bonus. You know, you definitely got to step out. You know, you, you definitely got to step out your comfort zone when it comes to that as well. So, um, but that's really that's that's one of the things I really picked up on. You know, is like every time I do my pop ups, always get up, talk to them, show them around, mm-hmm. you know, or whatnot. And, you know, you end up talking, networking, but we end up, you know, it's just, it's just, it's just, I love how though, I, I just love how, I, you know, it's, 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 it's so cool how it all comes about. Yeah. But Kick Mahoma, you know, I'm going to tell you so funny, I, I had just found out my Kick Mahoma this year. You know, wow. you know, I was just looking on Instagram, I was looking online to see what events, I need more events, I need, I need events to be going to all year. Mm. I came across him, I said, that's a perfect opportunity. I said, sneakers, streetwear, that's, that's a perfect opportunity. Yeah. You know, that was my first time ever, that was, see, that was my first time ever at a, um, at a sneaker, at like a sneaker show ever. Hmm. And so when I went, and when I went to the event, I was just like blown away by how everybody in there was like around my age and younger. You know, everybody was millennials, everybody was there going around shopping, looking for stuff. Unfortunately, I didn't make any sales because, you know, I didn't make any sales, but it's all good. You know, it's, you know, it's, you know, it's, you, know, it's, you, know you gotta, you know, when you come in, no, you, you come up with anything, you gotta take a couple, you know, you gotta, you gotta take a couple of you gotta kind of, you know, just realize, you know, it's not gonna be easy to come up. So when that happened, I, it was all good, you know, but Kick Long, it was great. Shout out to Kick Long, yeah. and Juan, all them, you know, all them, yeah, but big, big shout out to them as well. So sure. I, had really, I had a real good time over there with them. I brought my guy, um, you know, my guy did my business with Alvin. I brought him out there with me. You know, we shot that video for him, and we sitting there. Oh, it was I, I was crazy. I was like, whoa. I, I'm, I'm, I'm telling you, I watched the video like 10 times. I just kept watching it. It was so crazy how he just all came together. Yeah. Chick Walmart was great, you know. It was yeah. great. Great. It was a great experience. Um, great, you know, great, 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 excuse me, great, man. Great. I got the network, you know. Despite the fact that I didn't get to make no sales, you know, I got the network, and I got to... You know, I gained some Instagram followers. I, I got to, I got to get my name out there too. So that was, that was a real thing. That was, that was, a, that was a, that was a good, that was a good day for me. Definitely. And, you know, I want to encourage you and I also want to encourage all of my other entrepreneurs. I'm an entrepreneur myself. I have not worked a, a W-2 nine to five since 2009. It's 2000. Really? It's 2018. I, I, uh, I, I, la- la- I launched Sister Good Thing in 2011. And I have not grossed as much as I would like to at all. I'm being very honest, okay? But guess what? My husband also, he had started his own company. And I told him, he was like, you know, I'm, 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 I'm out there. I'm, I'm, I'm passing out my flyer. I'm doing whatever. And I told him this. I said, look, the appointments are already set. You just got to catch up to them in the flesh. So I'm saying to you, my brother Jamichael, that... The customers have already purchased. You just got to catch up to it in the flesh. Do you understand what I'm saying to you? You have made all of your sales already. You just got to walk into it in its appropriate time. You know, you made a sale that day. You just may not have received a physical transaction, but you made a sale the moment you showed up. So it's all good because you networked. You got a video, you got experience and some things that some things like that, you know, are priceless, that type of experience. So, you know, it's not always about making a sale. It's about getting out there. It's about understanding that in due season, believe you me. The customers will be coming. And you know you've made sales before. So it's not like you won't make sales again. And I just want to encourage all of my other entrepreneurs because it's tough. Look, I got an art business. I got a light decor business. And I have a podcast. I sow a... Look, I sow a lot of... (laughs) I sow a lot of seeds. You know what I'm saying? And I have not yet... I have not yet walked into the revenue that I so desire. But guess what? It's already happened. I just got to catch up to it in the flesh. So I just encouraged myself when I was talking to you. Mm. Okay, that sounded good. So, and another thing. I love the process. I love getting out there and meeting people, you know, realizing, okay, you know, see me tonight, I can help me out. I can help them out. I love network. I love, you know, meeting people, you know, see how we can, you know, expand and grow together. 
together, you know, you know, get things going and that and that, and that you know, and that good and that type of way. So it's it's, it's it's all it's all coming along really good. And that's the thing too, you know, if I'm going to another I got another uh problem with the speaker show this coming Sunday. Originally I wasn't gonna go, but I realized, you know what, I'm gonna go I'm gonna go for the exposure. You know, like I said, despite the fact that I didn't sign out at the past speaker show, I'm gonna go ahead, I'm gonna I'm gonna excuse me, I'm gonna go ahead and go this one anyway because, you know, um you know, just for the exposure, like you just said, you know, you can expose out there, you know, getting mm-hmm. out there. You know, so that I'm, you know, so just despite the fact that I made sales at that, um, at that last sneaker show, but I, at my, I, I still did gain, so I still, I still did benefit from it, and I'm going, I'm going to do it again. I'm going, to do, I'm going, I'm going to this next one. Yeah, you got to, you got to go hard in the paint. You got, you have to go hard in the paint, uh, and you, and guarantee this that you know somebody is watching you. It's just a matter of time, so you got to show up. When you feel led to, when you feel the boldness to, you know, some, some events you may not feel, but the ones where you know that you can make an impression, you know, that environment that's conducive to how, you know, Jamaica moves and, you know, your flyness, get in there and, and, and show up because you, it, all it takes is that one uh, NBA player or that one football player to walk through and be like, hey, I want to work with you. You you got something that I can invest in. That's all it takes. And God is so great like that, that he will give us suddenly blessings that will blow your mind. Trust me, I got a DM about a week ago that blew my mind. Okay? You know, people reaching out to me for interviews that are, you know, names that are known. You know what I'm saying? Like, people be like, oh, okay. Born, and that's what we gotta do. Or, you know, we gotta just we gotta be consistent. You know, we gotta you know we gotta you know support. You know, we gotta support support too. Main things all about that consistency. You know, like that, you know, like like you say, the reason why you getting interviewed. You know, people ask you to get you know yourself because you've been consistent with it all this time. Yes, thank you for that. I appreciate that. And you know what? You sound like my husband because he said the same thing. He said you gotta keep being consistent. With it, you know what I'm saying. So I just said I gotta go hard in the paint Sunday through Sunday, whether I'm live or on demand. Keep pushing it, keep doing the commercials. I don't care if anybody get tired of my voice. I don't get tired of it because this is how I eat. So therefore, <laughs> I gotta talk. You know what I'm saying. So I want you to tell uh, the listening audience how do they go about being able to print up the shirts, print up sweatshirts. And, and how do they find a printing company, you know, because some people are, you know, they may not have the yet wisdom that they need. So could you just tell them because, you know, you're a role model for the youth, whether you know it or not. And so I, I know you are because you are a role model because there are people who have sons that are your age or nephews or whatever that. They're like, this brother right here is absolutely humbly fly. I want to be like him. I want to, I want to do what I want to do that. You know what I'm saying? And, and so, oh, of course. So please tell them, how do you go about, you know, printing up the products? Uh, it's simple, you know, just find a local screen print. That's all it takes, you know, find a local screen print, you know, that's it. You know, it's all you gotta do is just, you know, uh, when you get, you know, make your design, Take to the screen printer, you know, and, uh, you know, pick out, pick out which hoodie, pick out which tee, whether it's a Hanes tee, a porn company tee, or whatever, or whether it's a porn company hoodie, or a Hanes hoodie, whatever, like, you know, it's, you know, like, once you get there, once you, once you get to the screen printer, you know, like, they'll, you know, they'll, 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 they'll take your mom away. Mm-hmm. That's, 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 it's so simple, I'm telling y'all, it's so simple, all y'all do is just, you know, get with a screen printer, you know what I'm saying? But like I so said, but once you get there, you show me designs, okay, cool, then, you know. But one thing I definitely want to recommend too, you know, make sure, it, um, you know, make sure it's a, it's a, a hoodie you want. Because I'm telling you, some, you know, that white lady I, I just put out, uh, like a couple weeks ago, I had an issue with my, I had an issue with my, I had an issue with that, what happened was, uh, they gave me the wrong hoodie. Like, mm-hmm. the design came out good, but, but they had gave me the wrong hoodie, so I said, I want to do it. Like, the hoodie that they gave me was too big, it was oversized, and, like, the hoodie, but, I didn't like it. I said so. I went. I went back and took them back, and they and they and they, and they, uh, they gave me the ones I wanted. So, like, so that's definitely one thing you got going and do. Make sure picking the right hoodies. The hoodies I recommend for starters like me and anybody else that's like that's trying to get that street work game, whatever. One hoodie I do recommend is a porn company P90. I know it's a uh, it's a pork uh, porn company uh, seventy something. I'm not 
I'm gonna have to, I'm gonna have to let them know about that. It's, I forgot, I forgot the name of it, but it's important, definitely important communities. And um, when it comes to, like t-shirts, I definitely recommend like the startups. I definitely, I definitely recommend like the guild and start, you know, the guild and stuff like that. Because you know, like, you know, you, you gotta kind of look around and see what's up. You know, you kind of one thing I've noticed, you know, even with me, I like, I like, I kind of like my stuff a little. You know, shoot a you know, shoot a fit, athletic, you know, athletic type of fit, some other type of stuff. And I feel like these are perfect. So like I say, it's, it's really, no, it's, it's really not a hard process. You gotta just find a local, find two things you gotta do: find a local screen printer and make sure, and make sure it's the product you want. Make sure it's the right, make sure the hoodie you want, the t-shirt, or whatever. That's one thing that can tell you. You know, Damon John, you know, Damon John, the creator of food food, he was the one. You know, I, I was, I was watching one of his interviews. That, he was the one saying, you know, give it a look at screen printing. You know, everything I'm saying is what, you know, what, what, what you know, what you saying. So that's one, that's one you definitely got to do is, you know, give a look at screen printing. And, and like, and like so you you catch on eventually, and uh, the, screen, the screen print take you along the way. Definitely. I appreciate you for sharing that. And so have you copywritten your Mayhem Streetwear? Have you taken... I, no, I have to, I have to say, you know, I'm, 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 I got people telling me that, but I'm, asking, I'm, asking, I'm about to get that done. Yeah, I'm that is done. crucial. I'm about to. I'm Please saying, do yeah, that. I, I need to. I got to. Because I'm thinking pretty soon you're going to be headed to Las Vegas to the magic show, right? Oh, I didn't know, I didn't know when the magic show was. It's in, it's in the was. summertime. Check out the magic show. And right, okay. before you go, please copyright Mayhem Streetwear. Yes, I'm, def- I'm, def- I'm, def- I'm definitely going to. Definitely yeah, because I don't want anybody, um, I don't want anybody hating or trying to do uh-huh. anything. And I'm not even speaking that into existence. I'm just saying uh, on a professional level. And I'm also speaking to myself because I'm getting ready to copyright the Sister Speak show, you know, and, and oh, my yeah. segment. So I'm just saying, you know, for us to like protect our brand. So it, it can have longevity and so people can understand how serious that we are about our brand. You know, uh, there's a there's a there's something else I got coming out pretty soon for the show that I'm trying to do to, you know, just get the brand out there. So I want to protect it before I do it. So same thing to you, because I have a feeling you're going to be going all over and you are going to be uh, well known. And I, and I want, of course, and I, you know, especially when you've got AJ Snow backing up. Oh my gosh, that video, the the. Yeah, 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 Snow, yeah, we, uh, yeah, we, you know, like me, you know, with the, with the, the way me and him met, you know, with, um, he actually did me, you know, I, you know, grabbing the music, they, they, they be damn me, they, you know, people, you get DMs all the time about, you know, check out my mixtape, check out my album, whatever, and you know, he sent me a DM of his, and I had never talked to him in my life. He has sent me a DM. He has sent me his DM. He has sent me his uh his, uh, his last uh, EP dropped out. No doubt, be free. He has sent it to me, and, I, and so I, I get to listen to it. I said, okay, I'm feeling, I'm feeling this a little bit. And, I'm, and then, as, and then as, you know, as, as every song kept going on and on, and on I said, okay, I'm, okay, this, you got something. And I just, you know, I, I followed up with her since then. And so, you know, so, you know, me and Snow, you know, we, you know, it's a support. It's gonna be, you know, he, I, I've been all he gonna. I go to his shows. He come to my, he come to my pop ups. He's one of the things. So it, it's a good, it's a good switch. We got, we definitely got going. He was the one that, he was the one that definitely told me. He said, you know, you gotta go to like more like our show, go to shows people like just moving around and checking stuff out. You know, like you know how we did at the Bones of Bubble or or like the other show or anything like that. So he was the one that said, you know, you gotta get out there and do the Bubble show. Like you know, he, you know, he always, he always, you know. Give me feedback. I'm giving me feedback. You know, so he always tell me like so what's up, didn't see that, and I do. I do the same thing. So you know, me and him, you know, we, you know, we we got a we, we got a pretty we got a pretty cool uh bond. We got a pretty cool um uh bond right now. You know, so we, we you know we, we both we both the same age. We both we both coming up. You know, and uh you know we, 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 we both we both get into it. Oh no, y'all y'all! <laughs> I like like I said when I met Mayhem. When I excuse me, when I met Jamichael Breckenridge, I also met AJ Snow, and it was like, you know, it is a blessing to see brothers working together out there just doing it. Cause like I said, when y'all see the video for Kicklahoma, I, okay, I'll admit I played it five times. <laughs> Boy, Alan Simpson told me I'm watching it like ten times. Like I, I was so blown away. I couldn't stop watching it. Was like, wow, that's. He, 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 I'm telling you, what's so funny. Like, I, I, originally, I was gonna, you know, I was gonna sit there with him. I said, All right, I want this, I want this, I want that. I said, I'm gonna put you on hands. You know, do what you do. You know, so, and then when I, and I was like, Wow, I just, I was blown away. So I just, you know, I trust him with it. And he just, he gave me that, 
he gave me that mask piece and it was just like, and he left like 50,000 pounds for multiple clam mugs. I was like, well, it's really that good. He was really liking it. So, and yeah, he, yeah, but he, he really outdid us. He really outdid us with that. He really outdid us with that video. It was and, um, dope. And I'm going to cut you off and I'll snow. Um, you know, he was the one that, uh, you know, um, I, I felt that song, that, that's the newest song that he dropped. Um, uh, that face, I, I thought that's on the purse. I said, oh, yeah. So I hit him up. I said, yeah, I, I, I got to use this song for my, for, for, the, for my video. He said, oh, hell yeah. And then, uh, man, that was, that, was, that was how that happened. So yeah. it, was, it just came along so perfectly. I don't know how the person was so feeling, but that's how, that's how it came about. Yeah, you need, to have, you, the, you need to have footage for every single one of your events. It needs to be almost like a documentary. You know, like, because later on, you know, when you get to a certain level, you can compile all of your vending events and you could take that as a teaching material for other people or just put it out. You know, who is Jamichael Breckenridge? I just document your journey because you're going to be able to look back and be like, yo, I have all, you're going to be like, I am what's up. <laughs> I'm serious about that. You know, document that, you know, and you got great music in the background. Shoot, I watched it. All. Like I said, I watched it five times and I was like, babe, listen to this song. Look at this video. And he's like, hey, you know what? Mayhem is out there really doing it. He's 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 out there. He's like, I like that brother. You know, and he's like, I like AJ Snow. You know, so y'all are a good combo. And brothers and sisters, AJ Snow will be on the t- on the tour in March. So get ready for that. You know what I'm saying? Because it's about making the known known on the Sister Speaks show. So what do you have as far as design? What is your favorite design so far? And what do you have coming up for the men and the women with Mayhem Streetwear? Uh, my favorite, my, my top two designs right now is, is actually yours. Uh, was going to Jack, you know, the MHM Jack, the light blue one. And my, and my most favorite loss and my most favorite one is the, uh, the, uh, the 22 on the new one. That's the black one with the red, with the red block in the, in the back. That's actually my personal favorite loss lead. As far as my leads go, just the, uh, the white one I dropped, the uh, new wave hoodie. That's that's my personal favorite hoodie. I'm, you know, I love all my designs, but you know, if I can pick um, one, it would definitely, as far as the hoodie goes, it would definitely be the, uh, the, new, the new wave hoodie. And my long sleeves will be the uh, jag, and it will be the, uh, the black, uh, uh, excuse me, the Roman, 22 Roman Numa. It would definitely be those two. And as far as, you know, just, you know, with the brand, you know, with, with, you know, with, new, with new drops, I'm just, you know, it's a unisex brand. Girls can wear it. You know, women, if the girls can wear it too. And, you know, um, and so I'm going to just, I'm gonna just keep dropping. I'm actually about to end the fall when it comes. I'm going to drop one more hoodie and I'm about to, and I'm about to go ahead, I'm about to go ahead and start getting other stuff. I'm about to go ahead and get, I'm about to get the spring and summer collection on as well. Mm. You know, but it's not just a male, it's not just, excuse me, it's not just a male brand. It's a unisex brand. Men and women can wear it. So it's, it's, it's for everybody, you know, you know, it's, it's, it's not just for men and, yeah, that, that's really what that's really what I that's what next just to you know more drops more you know, more material coming out. Yes. And that's what I like. You know, I like the fact that you're already thinking ahead and that, you know, you know, you got to get this ready and get that ready. Have you ever thought about working with any type of camouflage print? That's my favorite print. Right, right. I did, you know, I, 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 I mess around with a little bit. I'm still, I do want to do it because I, I know, I know, I know that's, I know, I know that's a wave out there. So mm-hmm. I'm definitely, I'm definitely, I, I, it was one that I, I kind of started messing with a little bit. I was like, hey, I really like it, but I'm, I'm definitely going to mess around with it. You know, I'm definitely going to do that. You, you, you know, you're definitely going to see some, you know, some camo patterns, some, some pattern type stuff. You're definitely going to see that. I appreciate that because, you know, I will rock it. I'm just telling you, I will rock it. And another thing I was thinking about is you, when you go to your event, like at the magic show, whenever you do go is to get you two very pretty females that can rock your shirts and go around while you're at the booth, passing out flyers and lead them back to the mayhem booth. Right. I 
appreciate that because, you know, and the one thing is, you know, a lot of people throw ideas out at you, but you know what you want to do. And then, you know, sometimes some seeds actually take root and bud and others don't. So you the boss, you the CEO, you call the shots. (laughs) <laughs> you it goes it goes up with you so you know that's just what it is and I I could just see oh my gosh I'm so excited to to know you because I can just only imagine what's getting ready to happen and I'm so honored to be a part of your history your journey as a boss CEO concerning streetwear concerning your brand you know you're young and that always helps you know what I mean of course, you know, look, I can give encouragement all day. That's just what I do. I know some people be like, dang, is she just, no, that's just what I do. I just, I just, I uplift, I encourage, I don't believe in discouraging somebody, you know, and I think, I think, uh, some of the stuff that I went through as a younger child probably geared me towards knowing that I don't ever want to be treat. I don't want to treat people the way that I have been treated. You know what I mean? And so I, I just, I just want to be able to pour and love and give wisdom because I don't want to be miserable. I don't want to be bitter. I learned from the things that, you know, hurt me and, you know, made me feel a certain type of way to where it's just like, look, there is not one human that does not need encouragement. We all need encouragement. There are too many trials and tribulations that we face publicly and privately that we all need encouragement. And when you are a healer with your voice. Cause I, you know, I feel like I do speak healing words to people as far as the encouragement is concerned. You look out for people. You, you, you're kind of concerned, you know, you want to make sure that, okay, you having a good day. You all right, you know, or, or not even saying that just, just saying a silent prayer for them. So that's what we do on the sister speak show. My brothers and sisters, you are like, look, I've been talking to Jamaica. I forgot to queue up and tell y'all what y'all listening to. You are listening to the platform on the sister speak show. My very, very special guest is Jamaica Breckenridge. He is the owner as well as the designer. He is the CEO of mayhem streetwear, my brothers and sisters. So you are listening to the platform on the sister speak show where contemporary meets vision, sound and action, a talk show for great minds that create, inspire and evolve my brothers and sisters. So Jamaica, is there anything that you want to share with the listening audience as far as wisdom is concerned? You know, is there anything that if, you know, you have the microphone, you have the platform that you can share with our brothers and sisters with wisdom, anything, it doesn't even matter, just something that you can share with them. You know, definitely got, no, uh, yeah, anybody out there that's, you know, that's got got aspirations or whatnot, just go after, you know what I'm saying? I I watched the interview, you know, Mark Cuban, he was in Madness. I watched the Bloomberg interview when he was, you know, I did an interview asked him that I said, uh, like what's a, what's a message out there to young uh, young come excuse me young and up and coming out? So no, he says go after it. And that's one thing too. And also too, you also gotta you know like once you once you realize okay, this is what I want to do. I'm gonna go after this. You know you gotta you gotta you gotta take out the unnecessary advice in your life. Whether it's when you when you're on my age, you know, whether it's going to the club, whether it's girls, or whatever it is, you gotta just you know you know uh, you know just kind of, you know just just you know realize realize it's, it's more it's, it's it's things you want to do. It's like all this stuff. It, it's cool and all, but you know, it's like, you know, but then again, you're going to look back, you're just not like, man, like, all the time I've spent going out to some places, girls, or whatever, like, you know, all, all now here, now here, I'm, um, you know, you, you know, you, you know, excuse me, you're going to be some asking stuff, but I was so, like, I, if I, I wish I'd do when I was younger. So definitely, you definitely, you definitely, you know, you definitely, and also to take risk and just get after it. That's all you got to do is get after it, you know, so I, I was the same way. I was, you know, I was still, I was always worried about what the mood of the Saturday was, and, and the thing too, you know, whether it's people around you that I've got to go, you know, you realize what's the thing I want to do besides just, you know, sitting around and just talking to you what my next move is and let life pass you by. Let life pass you by. Uh, y'all realize, you know, I, I, I got to make things happen. Ain't nobody going to do it for me. So that was one thing I definitely want to tell everybody else. You know, tell everybody out there that's got, that's got an aspiration that has got things they want to do is, you know, just go after it. And, that, and definitely, you know, like I say, you know, just take risks. You know, realize the turn point. Realize the turn point. Just you know, get out there and just get out there and do what you do. Take risks. You know, so you got to spend. You don't have to spend some money. You know, let me all say. You know, you know what I'm saying. Take money to make money. So you got to get out there and do that. 
And really just, I, I, mm-hmm. I just keep saying go after it all day. Go after it. Mm-hmm. And like, and just, and just, you know, take out all the unnecessary things, you know, you know, put your, put your, put your uh, aspiration ahead of your record. You know what I'm saying? That's, that's kind of what I want to say, you know, but definitely do that. You know, you, you, you definitely want to get out there and just, and keep, just keep grinding, keep moving, and just do what you do. And that's what you know, I like to say, just, and sisters you heard the wisdom from Jermichael Breckenridge himself that was well said you're very articulate very intelligent and I just like your spirit and I appreciate you for being on the sister speaks show but we're not getting off the phone just yet the listening audience needs to know your social media information as well as how can they purchase mayhem streetwear sisters he has a website he has social media platforms that's what you call an entrepreneur do you understand what i'm saying to you my brothers and sisters he is an entrepreneur and i'm so excited that you could come on you know i do first off i don't celebrate black history month i know that my people are absolutely superior and bomb all day every day long every month we are just on and popping so you know i just I just want you all to see the type of flavor that I have coming through the Sister Speak show. This is not a game. We're going somewhere. This is about making the known known. And so I expect you, my brothers and sisters, to purchase. I expect you to support. And I want you to send me a picture showing me that you purchased. I, I really want to know that you all are supporting this brother because I put my stamp on it. And if I put my stamp on it, not to say that I sit high and look low, but because I put my stamp on it, I'm saying, look, this brother really has it going on. And I would not have him on the show if he did not. Because if you suck, you can't come on the Sister Speak show. And that's not that. And I'm not trying to be rude, but, you know, you have to learn how to unsuck. And one way that you can unsuck is, number one, tap into your purpose. Tap into your passion. And don't ever be a hater. Be a supporter. Be an innovator. Be an influencer. Be an advocate. I don't like people who, I don't like it when my brothers and sisters are not activated. And I said this on the show the other night. If you receive an ATM card in the mail, it says this card is not to be used until it has been what? Activated. And that means, and I don't know anybody who does not call in or log in to activate an ATM card because they want to access their funds. So brothers and sisters, liken yourself to an ATM card. You have money that has not yet been tapped into because you're not activated. Somebody better say something today on the Sister Speak show. So that's just what that is. So I want to encourage you not to suck, to unsuck, and to become activated. Now, some of you are saying, dang, she said I sucked. Yeah, 
but you can unsuck. And that's encouragement because when you sit around not operating in your gifts, what are you doing? You're more than likely going to become idle minded. And in your idle mind, you're going to hate on a mayhem streetwear. You may hate on culture worldwide. You may hate on SGTPGW. Why? Because at this time you suck, but you can unsuck. Ooh, a lot of people don't want to hear it, but we give it to you raw on the Sister Speak show. You understand what I'm saying? The only thing that should suck is a lollipop. Ugh. Okay. Here we go. Ayana, be quiet. Or a straw. Or a vacuum cleaner. And I'm just saying, my brothers and sisters, get activated. What are you doing? Anyway, so my brother, this is what we're going to do. I am going to send you a copy of this interview. And did I cover all questions with you? Is there anything that I did not ask that you want to talk about? No, uh, only I'm going to just say, you know, just, you know, you know, you know, um, you know, it's a new wave out here. You know, we... You know, it's, it's, a, it's, it's what we do. You know, any, like I say, everybody out there that's got, has got express or whatnot, just, just go out there and keep going out and don't stop. You know, just because, you know, because you fall back or something, you have to be out there and work. You know, it's just, and, and you know, do research, do your homework as well. So, and, and make sure, make sure something you don't want to do. You know, that's, I, other than that, that's pretty much, that's pretty much everything. Like I say, um, catch, y'all, y'all can catch next Saturday, excuse me, next Sunday at the exclusive sneak shop. So, uh, excuse me, at the exclusive sneak shop, sneaks show in uh, Mesquite, at the Mesquite, at the uh, Hampton Inn, I think it's going to be at. So, Ooh. I want to be in there for 12 to 5, come through the shop, come through a couple of new jobs. Okay, and look, uh, look, let me say, way. let me say something to my husband. I know you heard that, so I'm sure we'll be riding out to Mesquite hopefully this Sunday. All right, oh, yeah, why not? I wait, wait. Do I have an interview? Yeah, but you said it's from twelve to five. I got an interview this Sunday. Oh goodness, I can make it. I can make it. I, I, I think we can make it. Yeah, why not? You know what I'm saying? <laughs> so, did you have a good time on the Sister Speak show? I had a blast, and I told him we was going to have a good time. I keep my promise, like, man. I said, we we'll have a good time. Man, I said, man, I said, I got to do it. You know, we, we was clicking like that, and I said, just, I got to do it. I got to do it. So, oh, for I'm, sure. I'm going to convince you having me on. You know, keep doing what you do. Thank you. I appreciate that. And would you recommend uh, this podcast for anybody else that has a brand, you know, to come on here and be interviewed by me? No, I'm definitely, I'm definitely gonna get, I'm definitely gonna get with you on that. I, I, I got, I got, some, I got a few people that I, 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 I can plug you into. You know, you like say, I mean, please I, I, do. I snow coming through next month, so yes. I'm definitely, I'm definitely gonna plug in with that. You know, they, they, they gotta come. They okay. Gotta, they gotta come. Uh, get on some speech, so they got to. Yeah, I appreciate that because I don't do messy interviews, and that's what I think keeps the flow going. We don't do messy interviews. Uh-huh. We do interviews that are about upliftment and highlighting what you got going on. So now. Internationally, everybody is aware of Mayhem Streetwear. And for those of you all who are listening on Amazon Alexa, whether it is live or on demand, shout out to you. And please, my brothers and sisters in the Netherlands, Philippines, Jamaica, Australia, Canada, uh, Mexico. Where else are they listening from? Philippines, Mexico, UK. A shout out to you all. And check out this brother and support him because we got brothers and sisters all scattered all over the world. And so I'm so grateful that my brothers and sisters that are scattered all over the world can tune into the sister speak show. And not only that, look, why not get some international commerce? You know what I'm saying? Jamaica, why not have somebody from, from the UK rocking mayhem streetwear? You know what I'm saying? Um, I'm I'm all, I'm all for it. I don't care. People in Mars is wearing it. (laughs) (laughs) Yeah. <laughs> ah, I love it. My brother, you are definitely my fam uh, from the Sister Speak Show. Always fam of the Sister Speak Show. So you know that anytime you have an event, any anything that you have going on that you want to just some, you know, some marketing or you don't want to get on and give a shout out or say something, you know, you can always come through the Sister Speak Show. The door is all, always open for you. Oh, thank you. And please give your shout out. Say hi to whoever you want to say hi to. Uh, I, want, I, want, I want to give a shout out to everybody that's been supporting the brand, supporting the movement. You know, shout out to you know everybody out there that's supporting you, really, you know, whether it's, whether it's family, friends, whoever, you know, it's just, and like I said, just, just keep doing, like I said, just, and, and shout out to all, all the young millennials out there that's out there, that's out there making moves. You know, we, we, our time is coming up, you know, it's a new generation, we're on our way, so we, we are here. 
And with that being said, this is not goodbye. This is simply, I will talk to you later. And of course, I'm going to send the interview to your direct message after the show. Okay, take care. All right. Brothers and sisters, Jamichael Breckenridge. Brothers and sisters, <laughs> how you doing? All right. Well, you know, hey, hey, yeah, I'm still here. You know, that's just a little vibe, a little vibe for you. Brothers and sisters, you have been listening to the platform on the Sister Speak show, and I'm excited. Why? Because we cover the dopest. And you heard it this evening. But you know what? Before we get into this outro, I do have to do my due diligence. And I'll be back after these commercial breaks. I have to play them. I'll be right back. Listening to the Sister Speak Show is even easier now with the new abilities available from Spreaker Skill on Amazon Alexa. With Spreaker on Alexa, you can now listen to the Sister Speak Show from even more places from all around the world. You also have navigation control. Fast forward and rewind podcast to make sure you never miss a second of your favorite show. And then you can ask for show recommendations like the Sister Speak Show, where contemporary meets vision, sound, and action. A talk show for great minds that create, inspire, and evolve. Brothers and sisters, we want you to listen live and on demand to the Sister Speak Show. There are six segments dedicated to serving you, my brothers and sisters. We have the platform coming to the stage, the culture climate, the laugh line, the tour, and the search effort. Oh, the Sister Speak Show, where contemporary meets vision, sound, and action. A talk show for great minds that create, inspire, and evolve. My brothers and sisters, thank you for tuning back live to the platform on the Sister Speak Show. This month in February, the theme of the Sister Speak Show is It Takes a Village. And I'm very, very dedicated to the fact that it does take a village. My brothers and sisters mean so much to me. And I care about you and I care about you pursuing your passions and really maximizing your greatest potential while here on earth. So I have been had, I, I commissioned three spoken word artists to present to you all their interpretation of what it means to, for it takes a village. We had Derek Ben Israel, we had Poetic Lee and Lauren Shaler. And I just want to thank all three of them for their contributions to this month's show. You all are extremely talented and dedicated. And I appreciate you for answering, you know, my commission. That really means a lot to me. So my brothers and sisters this evening, I will share with you my interpretation of it takes a village. Now, it's not a long interpretation, but it means a lot. So I want you to just sit back and listen to it takes a village by the host, me, Ayana. It takes a village to understand how powerful the village is. When it is activated with the mentality to be accountable for all, not missing a beat. But answering the call to raise a village and to share the crops of wisdom and righteousness that will lead the village to uprightness. Not lacking With the slightness. We have to understand that the village must be aware. The village must care. The village cannot turn a blind eye. The village has to do something about the sigh. The village has to be willing to work. The village cannot be a jerk. The village has to be solid as a rock. The village has to always be on the clock. The village must hold up its brothers and sisters. We have to understand that we also need the misters. We need the misses. 
We need the grandmas, the aunts, the uncles, the brothers, and the sisters. We need people to be able to understand that we have to lead a resistance against the wiles of the devil who comes to seek, kill, and destroy. We have to be accountable for every girl and boy. Life is not a toy. It's not a game. Why are you playing it as such? We do need the village to rise up. Oh, it takes a village to be a village, activated and ready to go. It takes a village to know when to say yes and when to say no. It takes a village to make sure that it does not spoil a child and spare the rod. It takes a village to understand that they must believe in the most high God. Oh, it takes a village to look after you and to look after me. It takes a village to ward off the enemy. It also takes a village to recognize the inner me. It also takes a village to say, my sister, my brother, my child. You cannot act as if you are wild because inside of this village, Oh, we're activated and we care. We are a village and we must be everywhere. Thank you, my brothers and sisters, for my interpretation of It Takes a Village. Oh, you guys are so kind. I just thank you so much. (laughs) Brothers and sisters, let's get it. Let's go. We're getting ready to close on out with the Sister Speaks show. I'm so excited to have vibed out this evening with my brother. You know, I love meeting dope people. And not only that, I apologize for that extra background noise. I love meeting dope people and I love being able to introduce them to you. You all have been a wonderful listening audience so far. And I appreciate the fact that you all are wise. And that you're willing to learn. My brothers and sisters, I thank you for listening to the Sister Speak Show, where contemporary meets vision, sound, and action. A talk show for great minds that create, inspire, and evolve. Sisters, spiritual inspiration shared through the arts. Sisters, spiritual inspiration shared through Ayana. Don't forget when you listen to the Sister Speak Show, you will catch special guest interviews, live performances, in-studio interviews, as well as live on location reports. The Sister Speak Show has special guests that are dynamic and impacting the communities with their passions. The Sister Speak Show is a talk show that will keep your mind and your soul informed, energized, and encouraged. We are a cultural renaissance platform that influences a climate that is conducive to who you are and who you should be. No reckless entertainment, just responsible listening nourishment. We don't go dumb. We go wisdom on the Sister Speak Show, and it's about making the no no. My brothers and sisters, Mondays I'm off. But I still end up working anyway. But Mondays I'm off. But the Sister Speak Show, you can catch Sunday through Sunday live and on demand. Catch up on all of the old shows. And guess what? We will be back to finish out the 27th and the 28th of February. My brothers and sisters, this year is already moving fast. So get up, get out, and get something. I don't want you to be unactivated. And I mean that. And I don't want you to suck. It sucks to suck. It really does. So anyway, brothers and sisters, I thank you for being a dynamic audience and I want to encourage you all to have a positive week and I want you to be patient and I want you to pray and I want you to be bold and I want you to be activated in the village until we meet next time you be encouraged and I'll talk to you later okay take care